my last video made me so happy I just wanted to tell that and say thank you because I hadn't expected that I hadn't expected people to actually watch it I know that I have a really small subscriber amount and I am really a mini youtuber but few of you guys it really makes me happy to see that people enjoy my video and I just wanted to shout out to that and thank you for that and now let's get into the video of today which is a fairy tale basically slash cottage call inspired video. I am planning on baking today. I am planning to bake an apple pie and cherry slash raspberry pie. I think I'm just going to mix everything together, but we'll see. And I'm also planning on really dressing up as my fairy tale slash cottage call character. It's not a cosplay. It's just me having fun in my wardrobe. I don't know, cottage core is so popular right now and it's like this idealized society. It's like this idealized life where people will dress up in these beautiful skirts and dresses and wear no makeup and wear braids and do their hair finely like they would in the 1800s and to just live in a world without technology. But it's so weird that on technology it's popularized Despite that, I still really like the vibe that it has and all the inspiration because I think that even in a normal house, not living in a cottage, you can achieve something like that. I have a lot of things and clothing pieces that will probably shout out cottage call slash fairy call. This pair of earrings is just so pretty. I will wear this necklace today. It's a daisy and my name in Dutch means daisy in English. My makeup doesn't need to be a lot. Uh, I think when I look at fairy tale and cottage core pictures, I don't think it's a lot of makeup they wear. It's very natural and defines really the beauty of nature, which is what we all already have, our normal faces. I have added some pink, but I don't want to look like cheesecake. And now I look like cheesecake. I think I'm ready. <laughs> so this is my cottage core and fairy core inspired makeup look. Welcome back in my kitchen. We were here last video too, but today we are going to be here only once. And this is for a crumble pie that is really cottage core inspired and also inspired by my hungry vegan tummy. One thing is that I don't have to do anything about my surroundings and my interior because my mom, being the beautiful witchy woman she is, is already entirely cottage core inspired. This just sits randomly on our windowsill. I mean, my mom is a cottage core queen. I feel like even this bowl is cottage inspired. It is even kind of chipped, which gives it the really authentic vibe. I haven't made crumble before, just so you know, so this is new for me too. I read that you need oats, all-purpose flour, almond, and now we're going to mix this all together. And then what we need is some coconut oil. Let me just say this to you, this is my first crumble recipe that I'm making entirely by hand. This is probably going to be really bad, but I'm still going to try it because I like baking and I've only really found out that I like baking since I went vegan, but maybe I'll talk about that another time. So now it's time to add some berries. I have done this on purpose because I want to put all the berries in the middle so that when it melts together you get like a hard shape but literally the heart is red. I don't know if that is cute, artsy or very dark but I like it. I have added some agave syrup to make it a little more sugary because I am...
am going to make some tea and some snacks even though it's just for me and I have an entire apple pie uh, but it's okay because my mom will go my mom will come home but I don't know when because of social distancing I don't really have someone to share this with but this is going to be just a picnic for me for now but that's fine because that way we're staying safe I will put some herbs in this little teacup it's really cute but I do really like it and it's very sweet. I love it. I really like sitting outside and just sitting there and writing and eating a lot of chocolate. I actually have to admit that I ate half the crumble pie. It was really crumbly and it's just basically warmed fruit with a little crumble on top. Basically what I was eating isn't that much, but I still ate half the pie. I thought that was worth mentioning. I'm probably going to drink another cup of tea and I will probably write a little more. I also have a rehearsal tonight for my acting class and then acting class, so I'll be laid up tonight again. I really enjoyed what I've done already today and yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing this again. So thank you for being here with me and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. Back to the fading horizon, twirling about. I just realized that my day is basically an Animal Crossing day because I am just basically a villager. I baked pie. I ate then half the pie while sitting in the grass, drinking a cup of tea and relaxing and now I'm sweaty and tired of baking pie and sitting in the grass sipping tea. And that was just my day. I really am Animal Crossing material. Make a character out of me please. That's probably never going to happen. Sound scared, I try to assure you it'll be alright. But a time locked in a room with your thoughts. Something along those faded lines keeps you trucking along. And now I'm sure that I told a lie. Cause what do I know?